the normal distribution and the empirical row. In nature, there are many continuous distributions that are symmetric. For example, if we measure the heights of all adult males in Ireland, we will find a high proportion of the adult male population with heights close to the mean height of the population. As measurements increase or decrease away from the mean, the proportion of the population with these heights begins to decrease. This results in symmetric distribution. If the distribution is very large and we allow the class intervals, which are the base widths of the rectangles, to become small enough, the distribution forms a smooth, symmetrical, bell-shaped curve called the normal distribution curve. So here is an example of the normal distribution curve. So we can see if we were to draw a line straight down the middle, we would pretty much have a mirror line. It would be symmetrical on either side. So it's called a bell-shaped curve because it's curved around the top and it gradually moves down and moves out on either side. It's symmetrical because, as I said, if we were to draw a line straight down the middle, we would have a mirror line. And it's quite smooth. So we're going to look at de Mauv or de Moray's theorem. I'm not sure which way to pronounce it. Some people say de Mauv, some people say de Moray. So the French mathematician Abraham de Moray, who was alive from 1667 to 1754, discovered a mathematical formula for constructing the normal curve. If we wish to find the equation of the normal curve for a particular normal distribution, we substitute the mean and the standard deviation from the mean into de Moray's formula. In any normal distribution, approximately 68% of the population lies within one standard deviation of the mean, i.e. 68% lies within the range of the mean minus the standard deviation, comma, the mean plus the standard deviation. Remember, x bar stands for the mean, and this circular symbol with a little line on the top stands for standard deviation. Approximately 95% of the population lies within the range of the mean minus two times the standard deviation, comma, the mean plus two times the standard deviation. And approximately 99.7% of the population lies within the range the mean minus three times the standard deviation, comma, the mean plus three times the standard deviation. So here is our bell-shaped curve. And remember, 68% of the data lies between minus one standard deviation and plus one standard deviation. 95% of the data lies between minus two times the standard deviation and two times the standard deviation. 99.7% of the data lies between minus three times the standard deviation of the data and plus three times the standard deviation of the data. Now this bell-shaped curve, which ranges from minus three to three, is drawn in your formula tables on page 36, but these percentages are not drawn in. The frequency table below shows the number of hits a website received during each day during a particular week. So the first row represents the day, the second row represents the frequency or the number of hits. So on Monday there was 50 hits, on Tuesday there was 80 hits, on Wednesday there was 120 hits, on Thursday there was 40 hits, on Friday there was 20 hits. Part 1, calculate x bar, the mean number of hits per day during that week. So to get the mean, we're going to add them together, 50 plus 80 plus 120 plus 40 plus 20, and divide by the amount. There's five values, so we're going to divide by five. So 50 plus 80 plus 120 plus 40 plus 20 is 310, divided by five is 62. So 62 hits is the mean number of hits per day during that week. Part two, calculate the standard deviation from the mean. So we draw out our table and we start with our x values. So we've got 50, 80, 120, 40, and 20. 50, 80, 120, 40, and 20. And we get the difference between these and the mean. So 50 minus 62 is minus 12. 80 minus 62 is 18. 120 minus 62 is 58, 40 minus 62 is minus 22, 
and 20 minus 62 is minus 42. Then we square each of the differences or each of the deviations. Minus 12 squared is 144. 18 squared is 324. 58 squared is 3,364. Minus 22 squared is 484. Minus 42 squared is 1,764. Then we add these together. 144 plus 324 plus 3,364 plus 484 plus 1,764 gives us 6,080. So then we're going to divide 6,080 by the amount of values, which is 5. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values. So 6,080 divided by 5 is 1,216. And then we're going to get the square root of that, which is 34.9. So the standard deviation is approximately 34.9. Part 3, calculate x bar minus the standard deviation, so the mean minus the standard deviation. So remember we got the mean to be 62, so we're going to have 62 minus the standard deviation, which we got to be 34.9. So 62 minus 34.9 is 27.1. Part 4, calculate the mean plus the standard deviation. So it's going to be 62 plus 34.9, which is 96.9. Now find the range. So it's the mean minus the standard deviation, which we got to be 27.1, comma, the mean plus the standard deviation, which we got to be 96.9. And make sure you put square brackets around it. 